On this episode of Life at Eight Knots, we start our journey south in the beautiful waters of the Bahamas. Get our mainsail repaired by a world-class sailmaker. Pay our respect to Poseidon as we depart the Abaco. And deal with some bad diesel during our very first night of motoring. Ah, boating. We're the Cognitos, a married couple in our early 40s with no kids who love to dance, travel, and live life on our own terms. We purchased and moved aboard a sailing catamaran named Lost Cat and brought Kirby Cat along with us for the adventure. Now we run a charter business and teach people the ropes and hard truths of life aboard a boat. Our goal is to help you move from dreamer to doer. Get to know us here on YouTube and join us for a real life sailing adventure to see if you've got what it takes to live a life at eight knots. After a very successful charter season in Florida, it was time to relax and prepare for a trip south during hurricane season. After clearing customs at the West End on Grand Bahama Island, we shot directly across the Great Bahama Bank to the northern tip of the Abaco Islands. That's where we anchored up at Double Breasted Key all by ourselves in one of the most beautiful and unique anchorages we think in the Bahamas. After a few days of solitude, we continued south through the Sea Abaco, tranquil and beautiful as always. We we're heading south to pick up uh, rendezvous with some crew, and we met some new friends along the way. Hey, the mom. Oh, Tough life. <laughs> it was beautiful, but it wasn't all fun and games. I'll let James explain. So on our way south, uh, we are stopped for some weather and I just happened to look up at the sail when we put it up today and we have a small tear in the luff. Fortunately, we are at Man of War Key in Abacos. It's actually world renowned for its sail making and boat making. So we ran inside, it's Sunday, everything's closed. Uh, I talked to a local kid and he's like, why don't you go over to Jay's house? Watch out for his big pig, but he could probably help you out. So he came down and said, take it off, bring it to me and we'll repair it. Said, okay. And uh, yeah, we got nothing better to do. It's gonna be blowing. So it puts our schedule about a week behind, but we have something to do. Fixing boats in beautiful places. out that we can anchor just north of the Man of War Harbor. We removed the mainsail, dingied it into Jay, and he said, hey, give me a few days, I'll get you fixed up. We 
Man of War was hit really hard by Dorian. Just like all of the Abacos. But the perseverance and strength that we saw was amazing. So yeah, Jay's dock was gone, but get a wheelbarrow. We'll get your sail fixed. Looks like we'll be stuck in the Abacos for a few more days. Oh, shucks. This is the exquisite view from the back of Jay's house. I say he's living life pretty good. While we waited for our mainsail to get repaired, we spent some time exploring Hopetown, and we celebrated a special anniversary, one year of living aboard Lost Cat. We even made a video about it. Check it out. And of course, we made some time for fun. It's a bushwhacker. Bushwhacker. Mm -hmm. On the beach. Mm -hmm. Ooh, a little chocolate on the bottom. Bushwhacker on the beach. Hey. Stay away from my bushwhacker. Oh man, she's a bushwhacker. <laughs> and true to his word, in a few days the sail was fixed and ready to be picked up and reinstalled. Thanks, Jay. I'm impressed. I'm impressed myself. If people want to get in touch with you about sail making, what's the best way for them to reach you? I know we just showed up at your house, but. Just show up at the house. <laughs> <laughs> ask questions. Ask, ask the locals and, and they'll point you here. I don't really need to advertise. Right? It's just, you know, find me and we'll do it. We'll get it done. With their mainsail reattached, and the weather window just perfect, and a third crew member aboard to help us with our long journey south, we were finally ready to depart from Marsh Harbor. So we pulled the lines up, waved goodbye to Captain Billy aboard the SV Enterprise, and said goodbye to the Abacos. coin with sailing on it for some sailing and we've got one with fish on it for play some good catching. Ryan's got some more coins. Three more. Just a couple. What do you got? That's gotta be a good one. Dollar coin. Sacajuia. Sacajuia. Yeah, five this coins. This one has a sailboat on it. Oh yeah, we got one of those. We'll have two. Right. That's for smooth sailing. One from one from you, one from us. That works. Sounds like a plan of it. Yeah. What do you think, Kirby? And of course, we couldn't forget the big guy. With your holy water that you bless our sails. As you bless our keels to keep us safely on the surface of the ocean. We ask that you bless our route. Keep us safe and then go straight and true in your eyes and in the path that we have chosen. To Poseidon, that we offer you, I offer you a coin for good fishing. I've got um, a sailboat for smooth sailing. They are offering. And I have a dollar, because I want to see more dolphins. Our finest rum to offer you, Poseidon. Uh, so, it's right here. There it is. Yeah. So we'll, there you go. Let's offer him his drink first, and we shall drink after. Okay. Poseidon, the king of the seas, defender of the oceans, we offer you our finest rum, so that you may allow us to embark on our journey safely, and in your respect. Here's to you. So. Lock that crew. Thanks for having me here. Look at that open Atlantic swells. Man, it's been a long time since we saw open ocean swells.
San Salvador Island, overnight San Salvador Island, and we'll decide where we go from there. So the starboard engine was starting to drop 3,000 or 200 RPM, 200 RPM. Like it wasn't getting any fuel. So I went and cleaned the filter, uh, primed the pump, changed one of the fuel lines because it was old and it ran pretty good. And then it started going real bad. I was like, all right, we got eight hours to the port, to a port. We'll just run it on the port engine. Port engine starts doing that. I go, aha, our fuel delivery problem is at the tank. So we've been bouncing for 24 hours, just like this, just bouncing, stirred up the bottom of my tank and completely turned it into muck. The pump and muck. So I checked the Raincor oil fil fuel filters, clean. Fuel inside the bowl, dirty, clean. Hmm. It's not the filters. Must be the seat cock, the cock coming out of the tank, feeding the filter. So I didn't blow on it. I just crank, cut the hose, pumped as much fuel as I could out of the hose, and hooked it back up. Seems to be working. I'm not gonna claim anything though. I thought I fixed it six hours ago. Nope. So we're gonna go see if we can get this fuel dumped, tank clean. Oh my god, I almost made it. They're rough. Ow! Now it's diesel cleanup. I am not the cleanliest boy when it comes to working on boats. I make messes. With the fuel system bugs worked out for now, so, we where, kept heading south. Camp. San Salvador Island. The Bahamas. This is way out east. I've always wanted to come here. I've seen it on the charts. The topography is <laughs> Next time on Life at Eight Knots, you'll see why the captain looks like this. We'll play a game of what do we break again. And we make up for it all with an epic dive in Turks and Caicos. See you next time. <laughs>